What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Eekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this series review started. We are wrapping up season four, Mahabharat, and we're going to talk about the last, what, in episode nine through 18, because so much stuff has happened. So much stuff, and I can't wait to talk about it. First, I mean, I don't know, guys, our Pandavas and the, and the Curries, the Karavas, they done grown up. They done grown up, and they looking good. <laughs> I shouldn't even say that, because you know, even the mean one. The mean prince, I like to call him, the mean one. I hate that. I, I look and I'm like, oh, he's good looking. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm like, I'm like why do they have to make him good looking? Why couldn't they make him bad looking? Because I want to be, every time I look at him, I want to be angry at him. But I'm not because sometimes I'm like, oh, he's good looking. Even though I know deep down inside he ain't no good. It starts. He's always up to some schemes and tricks. He's just like his uncle. Just like his uncle Sh Shakani. He already, because he befriended Drona's, you know, son with the crystal in the head and everything. And he already turned him against everybody. Going to do their dirty work and have him cheat on this little contest thing I have to see, like, who's the best prince that came out of of the training, right? Who's the who's the one most worthy of the crown and all that. So they're going to have this little contest they're fighting. And, of course, like, they're going to have rules because Bishma made sure that he's like, you can't make anybody bleed, right? But still, why didn't you, why didn't you make the rule you can't have anybody, everybody cheat? Because that one with the crystal, he was cheating from the beginning. First, boom, he got the, the, the mean prince, his arrow, hit the thing, so he's the first up. Then, boom, he's going to hit Pandava. All right, first one was the little, the, one of the little twins. He loses against them. But let me tell you, they got some good entries for that, don't they? When they come in, like what one of them came in, uh, who came in on the elephant? They always, they making their entrance into the stadium, all of them. But the, the first, the mean king or the mean prince, the, the, he won against the, the one twin. Then he won against another. Then comes, and, and that's the thing. They keep hitting the arrows that that son and Drona said fine I won't say anything remember that the the son was like to, to Drona don't say nothing just let let it be and he's like fine I won't say nothing even though I know you're cheating I was like that ain't fair so who comes up next it's the oldest oldest panda ever right the oldest one he's too nice <laughs> maybe that's for a good leader to be too nice but he's too nice. And and of course, the, the, that mean prince is going to use it against him. And he but he really just kind of gave up on that little fight, didn't he? I was like, he is too nice. Next up is Beam. I was like, oh, Beam is going to do him in. Beam got a grudge. He doesn't kill Beam. Beam came back. And Beam is going to do him in. And he does. Beam starts just pummel him. Just he's beaming them. <laughs> That's what I should call stuff when they beating somebody up. I was like, he's beaming them. But he went a little too far and he done broke his own rule that Bishma made, made the, the mean prince bleed. So I was like, oh, here we go. He broke the rule. Beam could have won that fight. He could have won that fight easily. And then who comes in? Bum, 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 Arjun! <laughs> you know that's my favorite still. You know Arjun's my favorite stuff. And he comes in and he and then Drona sees his son, the, the crystal head boy. That's what I like to call him. And he's about to hit some arrow. And, and Drona's like, oh no, here, give it to me. Remember? I was like, all right, Drona. Then here comes Arjun entering. And, and Drona hits that arrow, gonna make this thing come around him. Well, I got a little entry for Arjun. Let's watch that. I got a little thing. I don't know if it's very long, but we're gonna, we're gonna look at this. Y'all ready to do this? Let's go. It's good. Oh, Arjun, look at him. Oh, that's when he came out the rocks. Cause remember the rocks plummeted around him when Drona hit that thing. And he was like, how did he get out of that? And he's like, he made an arrow. I can't 
the arrow random. Look at our gene in his arrows. That's my, and then he's got, and I love how all the, the pandavas go and greet their mother. They're all cunty. I was like, oh, they love their mother. Well, Arjun and, and that mean, that mean uh, Prince went at it. But I was like, that mean Prince ain't, he ain't, he, you know he was gonna lose. Arjun took that arrow, frozen. <laughs> Arjun hit another arrow, frozen. He was frozen up in there. I was like, yeah, lost. That was easy, lost. You know he didn't have uh he didn't have no chance to stand against Arjun. And then Arjun was gonna be like, alright, I'll unfreeze you, you lost. Who comes in but Karna? Khan comes in and you're like, oh Khan, what cause you know he got kicked out from the, the one guy that he was being trained because he lied to him, said he was like the Brahma or whatever it's called. And, and so now because who, the, his the teacher, remember the teacher's like, Arjun's the greatest archer, like not in the, even in the competition, in the world. And that's when Carl was like, oh no, he ain't no greatest archer in the world and I'm going to show him. So them two, he wants to go at it. But then they're like, oh, there's a rule. You can't, uh, you can't go at it if you, like you can't fight a prince. Who are you? You can't just some guy off the street come up in here and fight a prince. And then what's going to happen? I was like, they just, they just come make him a king of a, of a country. Remember the, the, the blind, or not the, but the mean prince was like, well, let's make him a king in this place. And then he's like, well, nobody could just make her a king. And then the blind king was like, all right, let's make him a king. I was like, how? This this escalated quickly. This escalated quickly. You're just going to make him a king. I couldn't believe it. Well, they did. And they went at it. They was, they was hand in hand, right? Like they... They had a battle going, and I guess I didn't know this rule either that they couldn't pass pass, pass the when the sun goes down. But was y'all thinking? Because I was like, oh, he just learned how to shoot that arrow, make the sun come up. I thought Karn was gonna do that. I was like, oh, the sun's going down, so he's gonna shoot that arrow, make the sun come up. But he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. Although he did show something which revealed himself, because he was gonna have the arrow come, and then his armor go shh. And that's when Kundi realized it was him, done fainted. She was like, that's Khan. So then he's revealed to Kunti in that way, but he don't know who he is. He don't. So anyway, it was over. Him and Karn was pretty much hand in hand. Kunti knew that's her son now. And that's when things get even more interesting. That's Kunti. She got, Kunti done had this idea that she's gonna go and talk to our um, Karn, right? And she does go, and what did he do? Like, he sees her and takes a little lotus and puts it at her feet. And I was like, oh, Con, that don't you know that's your mom? He don't know. <laughs> he don't know, because he was like, he was still talking smack. And that's when the other son's going to come interrupting, uh, talking stuff, right? There come Beam and Arjun, and they all going to come talk some stuff. And so I was like, oh, well, that ruined that little moment. But... Then they went to that celebration, and that's where things got interesting. Because first at that celebration, it was revealed. Because they have the 101 sister. <laughs> that's what I call her. The 101 sister, because they had the 100 brothers, and then they added the one for the sister, so the 101 sister. And she brought a friend. Her friend was Krishna's sister. I was like, oh my God. I started freaking out. I was like, that's Krishna's sister. That means Krishna. Are we gonna, are we gonna see Krishna soon? I was freaking out, even though I know we've seen Krishna do it they bring him in doing his little wise words for us like the all the playing a little fluty flute who oh, I love my Krishna but that's I don't know it's because part it's actually in the story now right that we're actually getting introduced to Krishna's sister I was it made me so excited but I then I started getting a little upset I was like she's kind of looking at our June giving him a little smile here and there a little it seemed to me like she's a little flirt with him and I was like you I was like, I know you're Krishna's sister, but you better stay away from Arjun. <laughs> I don't know why, because I was like, I got a little crush on Arjun. <laughs> I don't know why I do. And I don't even know who he ends up with and what happens. And, and maybe I won't be jealous over there when he ends up with the Drapati, Drapati. But I was like, I was getting a little jealous. I don't know what's going to happen when he meets Drapati and all that. I'm, I might get even more jealous because I... I, I've been, 
I just say I got a little crush on <laughs> Judah. He's cute. The actor's cute. Just the way he stand up and his confidence and everything. Oh, I love me some more. Well, y'all gonna have to explain some stuff to me because they're at that celebration and she's doing a little flirty flirt to Krishna's sister, and and they get him to play the musical instrument. Well, here comes the mean prince all talking some stuff and Karns with him, and they were like making fun of him and all that. And Arjun, he gets mad. And he done takes out his weapon. He was going to go after the car. I thought I was like, oh, no, here they go. They're dropping. They're fighting and everything. Then they come and stop it. And and then they were like, oh, you, you can't believe Arjun. You attacked a king. And remember, the blind king was like, if this was anybody, I would banish him. Or what did he say? I would I would banish him, exile him forever. But since you're, you know, Pandu's son, uh, uh, you can apologize. And then they were like, well, you can apologize to Karn by washing his feet. That was... Like, I, this is what I understand. That seemed to be like a great embarrassment, I guess, to wash somebody's feet like that. But I've seen it done like out of respect. When you respect somebody, you wash their feet. But it was like, oh, everybody was, it, it's like it took me. I was like, oh, I was almost in tears when he was washing his feet. And I don't even understand all all of it completely like what does that mean when you're washing his feet when you're washing the feet kind of of your enemy is that like a great embarrassment that's how i felt it was like a great embarrassment to him so it like hit me and i didn't even truly understand what was going on with that truly understand like the impact of it washing somebody's feet of your enemy but i guess just the way they filmed it and the music they played with it and everything i could I, I felt just the emotional toll of it all. That's what I'm saying. I felt it. I was like, oh, this is deep. This is embar this is this is a great embarrassment. And and I was overtaken. I was. I had tears and I I was like, I don't even know I'm crying fully. Why is this such a great embarrassment to wash somebody's feet? Because I thought it was first out of respect, but I I guess it's different when you're washing the enemies. So I have the little video. I hope I don't get emotional again. I think just in the moment there. You know, when I was watching it, but let's take a look at this at ourselves together. A little clip I have. Y'all ready? Let's go. See, look at that. He's got like tears in his eyes. Oh, Arjun. He's got like tears in his eyes. Oh, and then that's what Kunti was crying. Oh, that took. And he apologizes to him too. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I don't. That Shikanti. And there's Krishna's sister. It had me tearing up. Even those little stuff, I was tearing up again. Especially when you see Kunti like tearing up and everything. And and you didn't they have that shit, Kunti? To forget that shit, look, one eye. I don't like him. But I don't even, you couldn't even tell there. Like, I don't even not like Karn. Because at this point, you're kind of like Karn's kind of on that side of the mean prince and everything. But you can even say, see in his face, like, he. He felt uncomfortable. I don't even think he wanted that. I don't even think he did. He was just like, all right, we'll have to do this. I'm I'm the king. I'm a new king. I can't be like showing right away any kind of, you know, uh, misstep. So he went along with it. But I felt in his face that he, he didn't feel it was right. I felt that he didn't. And then what it kind of ended up because they, it, it, what happened? They, uh, the, uh, the celebration was over. And then remember, then the the blind king was like, "Well, the celebration. I'm I was gonna make an announcement. I'll just make it tomorrow." And then our June, he went to his mom first, and you're like, "Oh, she's apologizing." He's like, "I'm the one has apologized. I'm sorry for disrespecting, like pulling out his weapon. Like that's all he was thinking. Even though he went through this great embarrassment, and even went to Bishu and apologized. Even though he went through his this great embarrassment, all he cared about." was like like the what he'd done wrong in that situation and disrespecting him and looking bad 
you know, to his mother and to Bishma. And I was like, oh, that's what made me love Arjun even more. He's such a stand-up character and they did that to him. See, I'm, uh, why they did that to my Arjun? I don't know. Then the next day, here it comes. They're going to make that big announcement. And you think, right, that, that the Blind King's going to announce his mean old prince son was going to be his heir. And that's how it went. And then Bishma said, well, can I speak? I wish I had the clip. I couldn't find the clip of the Bishma, to, you know, doing his speech. But again, I was like, why are they making these epi this season so emotional for me? Because Bishma started crying making that speech, talking about the love for his brother and just what his brother would do everything and do the right, to make the right decision for your country and, and all this stuff. And Bishma's crying. And I was like, I can't take this crying no more. First, you have me crying over Arjun. And now Bishma's crying and I'm crying here. And then the blind king is crying. Well, that blind king's always crying. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But I mean, that's the first time I think I I saw Bishma crying the whole series so far. And that blind king, that's probably, the, I lost count of how many times he was crying. He's always crying about something. But I mean, that's good. That, that just tells you like he's got, he's got a conscience and a, and a, and a, and even though sometimes in the exterior, like I didn't like him at times. I was like, it just tells you he does have a good heart down there. It does. It just tells you he does have a good heart. Like there's all these characters have qualities of good and bad, I think. Except Arjun, I don't see any bad things yet. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I'm sure it'll come up sometime. I I might just be blind to it because he's my favorite so far. But you know what I mean. So then, so then Bishman does that little talk and then you think that here comes the blind king and he's done changed his mind and gonna be saying, you know, all right, a different, he's gonna, announce a different person to take his throne and then here was the climax you're like yes yes say our june say our june <laughs> that's what i was thinking say our june's gonna t be your and and to be the next king then who has to come in drona the teacher ruining it all saying oh no you can't crown anybody because they're not done with their training they gotta do repay me first and they gotta go over here to, to kill this person that done me great long, wrong long ago. I was like, was that, that wasn't an agreement, was it? When did that become an agreement? That you gotta pay your price by going to kill somebody? I was like, did he just throw this agreement in? Well, I feel like he messed up. I messed it up. He messed it up because he he should have just. I that was the moment Bisha didn't done made. That, uh, that emotional uh, speech and everything. And here you're going to come messing it up. Talking about you can't even, you know, declare. They haven't repaid me. Now I'm going to make it go fight. Well, that's how it ended. This was a great season. This was a great season. I loved it. And I know people say it's just going to get better. Like some people like, oh, I just, I start watching this season eight because that's when it really good. I was like, that's going to get even better than this because I'm already into it. I just love learning about, you know, the history of it. And I, I know this is, is not just a series. It's taken from like the scriptures, like the, the, the word, you know, there are scriptures and everything. So it's like the historical events it's taken from. So I love that. I love learning about it. And, and, you know, I think this was probably one of my favorite seasons so far too, because it had Krishna's sister. <laughs> Although she was flirting with Arjun. Still. It's like a little piece of Krishna showed up into the story. All right, y'all. I know. Season five is next, and that's not a long one. I think I'm going to do the review of the whole season because I think it only has like eight episodes. So hopefully I can get that maybe Friday, if not Monday. We'll see. But until then, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!